ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event of the night, wherever you're watching around Australia tonight on the Fox Network or whether you're here live at the Southport RSL. It's time to get it on for the Australian heavyweight title. First of all, the man standing in the red corner, weighing in last night at 112.6 kilos, 65 professional fights, 35 wins, 21 by way of knockout. A three times Australian heavyweight champion. Training at the Fighters Inc. Gym in Emerald, Queensland. The Kid Coal Miner, Carl Wilson. And his opponent tonight for this title fight in the blue corner at 118.8 kilos with a professional record of 10 fights for 10 wins, nine by way of knockout. The current WBU Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion fighting out of Perth, Western Australia, Big Daddy Lucas Brown. This main event to be contested over 10 three minute rounds of boxing action with Steve Marshall, your referee. Two big, big boys. Carl Wilson. Well, fellas, in you come. Lucas Brown. Gentlemen, I've spoken to you both in your dressing room. You know exactly what I expect from you. This is an Australian title. It's important that we all get to do our job right. Protect yourself at all times and obey my commands at all times. Now touch them up and good luck to both of you. Gold with the stare down. Lucas, eyes down. A study of concentration. The old school, and maybe the new school. Again, a right-hander versus a left-hander. The right-hander is Brown. The left-hander is Wilson. Ten three-minute rounds for the vacant Aussie heavyweight title. It is Big Daddy in the black and silver. Wilson in the red and white. Tell you what, Big Daddy is calm. He, he didn't blink an eyelid through the national anthem. He, he wasn't phased that Big Cole was staring him down. Very composed elite athlete, Lucas Brown. Inside an MMA cage, or more recently inside a professional boxing ring. That natural ability just to keep you cool. Yeah, it's, uh, he does it very good, Big Daddy. And again, Andy, we've got the same questions we had in the last fight. How will Big Cole handle the power of um, Big Daddy early on? And how will uh, Big Daddy, um, you know, handle... Oh, sorry, how will Big Cole uh, handle the distance and Big Daddy, the awkwardness, I guess, yep. of, of Colin Wilson? Oh, oh, Brown with a good scoring power right hand on Colin Wilson. Very composed. The fast hands, Big Daddy. Former champion, the Iron Rhino, Michael Kirby, here in attendance. Forced to retire due to suffering another eye injury earlier this year. Ironically, in sparring, and it was against Daniel Amman. The detached retina means his gloves have been hung up for the final time. Low shot. No fanfare, no blowing up from Colin Wilson. Let's box on. These are two massive human beings. So Big Daddy's either very experienced against a left-handed opponent or done a lot of training against a left-handed opponent because he knows exactly what he's doing there with Colin Wilson. Massive day for everyone with subscription television around Australia, whether your platform is Foxtel or Allstar, but Fox Footy launching today. Great for the fans at home to... Every game live, no interruptions, all in high definition for you AFL fans. We've got it covered in 2012. Reasonably similar pattern for 
majority of the round. Wilson dominating that centre ring position and Brown on the outside, but Brown with the better punches. Lucas Brown receiving instructions in the corner. Grady Stewart and the crew. And Fonz Jimmy, back, Northbridge, Cole. Perth, right WA. Cole Wilson up, he's about. Joining us in commentary, former Australian heavyweight champion and the recently retired Michael Kirby. And we said in the introduction, as desperate as you were to be in here tonight, health and life after boxing is the number one priority. Yeah, well, I've achieved a bit in... Um, in boxing, I want a state title, I want an Australian title, I want an Asia Pacific title, and I fought Carly Mean for a world title. I, I, in 16 fights, that's not bad for someone that's come from the West, eh? <laughs> One of my Western suburbs, buddy. How is the eye more importantly? Uh, I've got to wear glasses for 12 months. So I've got buckles on both eyes now, and my right eye's, you know, pretty soft. My left eye, it will get better, apparently, and I can get some laser and take the glasses back off. How have you seen the fight thus far? Only one round in, but what did you make of the opening well, three minutes? Well, it's touch and go. I, I thought Lucas got the first round there. Yep. He's got kind of got to watch out for that right hand. I mean, it's dangerous in anyone's language. Here we go, Brown, the aggressive, almost bullying 39-year-old Colin Wilson back into the corner there, but it doesn't take oh, Colin Wilson long to get back into that centre ring position. That's what you found with him. He's... he's uh, well, he's fighting the boxer for once, yeah. and, I, and I do think uh, Colin has built, beat uh, Nathan Briggs, a, bit, a better boxer than Lucas Brown, I believe. So, you know, he's in with a chance, but because he's only had four weeks' notice, it's a bit hard on the fitness. We'll Sam, see where he stands. And saying that, was that the Colin Wilson of old? You know, that was, that was four or five years ago. That's the truth. That's the truth. I mean, he's... Look, he's a pioneer, and uh, he's been there forever. He's fought the best. Yep. He, I mean, he come up, come back after getting knocked on his ass with uh, Hopawade. And not cop her out. Yeah. No, I've, I've got massive credit for Colin so, and, and he fought Hamona and gave Hamona a very, very difficult fight. But, uh, again, four weeks, you know. Yep. Difficult. But that, and that four weeks was because, man, we do have in commentary for the round, Michael Kirby suffered that injury yeah. in training and forced to hang up the gloves. Can you believe this is Colin Wilson's 66th dance as a professional? There they go. I mean, what a warrior. Oh, Brown with that powerful right hand. Two, heavy hands. Yeah, two-punch combination there. One just trying to sneak around the outside of the gloves, but again, Michael, as you found out in October of last year, it doesn't take Cole long to get back on your chest. Well, the, the way I see it is uh, Brown hasn't done 10. He's done 12 with Clarence Tillman, who just got stopped by Sonny Billing. Yep. 30 seconds. And now... He's with uh, Colin, who can do 10 rounds in his sleep. Yep. So we'll see how Lucas is in the later rounds. Now, speaking of Sonny, Bill, you did some sparring with Sonny in the yeah, lead-up yeah. to the fight. Yeah, and as an athlete and as a boxer, a rookie boxer, he impressed you greatly. Yeah, well, I, I hadn't got right into training yet. They, yep. And they uh, made me wear 18-ounce gloves, and he wore 16-ounce gloves. And, look, he done good for... They had an enormous ring at the zoo gym. Yep. He could dance and run away and move and do what he liked. But uh, the thing is, you could still see he was a bit of a novice. I was still catching him, and I got a slow over him, right? <laughs> still got him a couple of times. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> Let's relive your last match, and a match that you'll remember very fondly. It was an emotional night up here on the Gulf Coast because oh, it? you dreamt. As a kid, you dreamt of an Australian title. This was the night you realised your dream. Well, the thing is that I was going through a bit of hardship at the time, and my, yep. and my new trainer, David Virtue, was saying to postpone the fight. And I thought to myself, kick your heels in and let's do it. Yep. And I, and I came out on top, thankfully. Um, Colin was a warrior on the day, but everyone knows I'm going to spoil you, I'm going to smother you, I'm going to get all over you, not give you the room, take away the jab. 
You know, I remember my brother taught me well in the beginning. He helped me out in the start. Let me taught me how to smother and spoil fighters, and that's what I used. Uh, with David Birchell, he, he got me a longer jab, trying to throw straight along the punches and get me some space. Is it fair to say both yourself and Cole had sore ribs for a couple of days oh. after that fight? Well, he hit me with some absolute bloody bombs to the body. <laughs> he tested my body more than I think any heavyweight has. And that's the experience of Colin Wilson. He, he's, and we'll see that here if this fight gets into rounds four, five, six, and seven. We'll see Cole start to dig the body of Big Daddy and uh, try slow him up. Well, I reckon the oxygen it takes to pump those muscles, it, it'll wear him out. Yeah. It'll wear Lucas, Lucas out, I think. Early on here, Lucas Brown, I, I've got to give him credit, He's, he looks super sharp and super strong. Well, he was pretty light. He was, he was a kilo lighter than when he fought me. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know what he was doing over the holidays, but I don't think he was being lazy. He must Brown. have been doing something to keep losing the weight. Forward there, the West Australian. It's going to be a tactical fight, it looks like. Yeah. And the longer it goes, and the more tactics are employed, does that favour the more experienced athlete? I believe absolutely. Absolutely it does. I'm with you guys, but I'm, I'm just really impressed with the, the composure and the way yeah. that um, Lucas. Lucas Brown is handling Colin Wilson absolutely. as a lefty. Absolutely. Must have been getting some decent sparring. Yep. Is a big test and a big shock. I, I, I always hear you, you boxers or, or former boxers say the first time you come up against a good South Paw, it is completely different to, to anything you've experienced before. Well, when you're fighting a tactical fight like it looks like Lucas is, South Paw is a big difference. But when you're a fighter like me who's on your chest regardless, uh, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. South Paw, orthodox. I'm going to be two inches off you. Yeah. And whatever you can hit me with, you better, because trust me, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> Just over a minute remaining, round number three. Brown sticking out that long left hand. A reach of 197 centimetres, thank you. Cole's wingspan, all of two metres. Tell you what has They're become. still playing a game of jabs. Yeah, it is a game of jabs. It's also a game of the front feet. Keep your eye on the yeah. front foot of Lucas and also Colin and watch the toe treading. You both lead feet. Uh, that very always close. happens in sparring too. Yeah. When, you, when I was sparring Daniel Armand, you're always tr consistently treading on his feet. It's a lefty righty thing, it happens yeah, all the time. I mean, everyone knows you're supposed to keep your foot on the outside. Yeah. And, and if you've got two smart guys who, who know how to handle that, that's when you will trod because you, you both... Oh, big collars hurt back. He's, he's Wilson is struggling in the corner. And Lucas Brown opening up. He floors the former yeah. champion. That was a beautiful oh. right, right up a cut. He's gone. Town is in. Well it done. is over. Lucas Brown is the new heavyweight champion of Australia. Well done. What a performance up in there from the next generation. Michael Kirby, we thank you very much for your time and wish you safety and success in the future. Oh, Big Daddy. Big Daddy is an animal. He did it and did it well. This is the fashion he did it in, Big Daddy. Oh, here's the right hand that rocked Colin Wilson. He just didn't jump off the accelerator. And that's how to finish a fight. Don't look at it. Big Cole was gone for all money. Big Daddy sniffed it out. Took advantage of it. That's the shot. Yeah, Wilson was on rubber leg street there. And a couple of right hand bombs from Lucas Brown. 11 fights, 11 wins, 10 via way of knockout. And interestingly enough, today there's a name and a challenge for the winner of tonight's show. That man is banging Benny Edwards. Wow. An open challenge to whoever wins. So perhaps Edwards Brown, just maybe. Well, imagine the power of those two guys. Let's go centering Dave Eller. It is time to make it official.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of excitement happening in the ring right now. We do have a new Australian heavyweight champion. And to make it official, at a time of two minutes and 56 seconds gone of round number three, we have a winner by way of knockout, the new Australian heavyweight champion, Big Daddy Lucas Brown. A massive win for a massive man with a massive future. The next generation has arrived. And nothing but respect from the former champion, Cole Wilson. What a performance. What a main event. We'll be back on the other side of this commercial break to speak live with the new champion and wrap up tonight's proceedings. First card of 2012 we have seen live from the Gold Coast. Two national titles were decided, the cruiserweight and then the heavyweight, and this big guy did it in style. Lucas Brown, a third round finish. How are you feeling right now? Awesome. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Um, I was a bit sort of scared coming into this one because of uh, who Cole is, basically. Um, I knew that if I got past him, it's sort of a good indication of the direction I'm heading. So I have, and uh, yeah, hopefully looking forward to big things in the future. What did you make of the first two rounds? Was it was Colin Wilson what you expected? Um, I was expecting more left hands, to be honest, from, from him. Um, and that's what I was waiting for. Uh, I assume he was waiting for my right as well. Uh, it was just He's obviously tall and very long, and with his uh, right jab, it was something different because I've never faced a southpaw before. So first time for everything. But... Um, yeah, I landed my right when it needed to, and that's all that matters. The right is the big hand. We're going to take a look at some of the highlights from the fight. It only lasted three rounds. Talk us through what we're seeing. Uh, yeah, basically, at this stage, it's just trying to get in closer. Um, I've really been working on my left hand, um, left hook, which I, I still haven't been able to perfect in a fight yet, so the right still does the job. But yeah, hopefully, uh, in the future, I can start getting my left hand as well. Now, already the challenges around there, we understood coming into tonight that Ben Edwards said, if it's Lucas, I want Lucas. If it's Cole, I want Cole. Your response? My big Benny, uh, Benny and I would have an awesome fight. I've, I've sparred him the once, uh, I was in kickboxing, and he did have it over me because of the kicks. I'm not a kicker. But um, <laughs> good old-fashioned good old Aussie bash, that'd be, that'd be awesome. There's certainly something to look forward to down the track. For the moment now, time to relax, time to rest a little bit. Yep. Uh, it's been a real tough preparation. How much time do you take off? Uh, in all honesty, I've got a fight on the 31st uh, of March in, back in Perth, so I'll have a week or two, but then straight back into it. Um, unfortunately, for this one, I, I, the last week I haven't trained at all because I did my back in, so I've, I've sort of hid that from everyone else, but yeah, I, I couldn't put my shoes on until Wednesday, so I, I'm just happy it did, went the way it did. Well done tonight. Congratulations. You should be awfully proud. I'm very proud. I hope uh, yeah, family and friends are, are happy watching this as well. So, yeah, thank you. Everyone's certainly happy. Lucas Big Daddy Brown, the new Australian heavyweight champion, as we cap the results from what has been a spectacular night. Final event of the night. Lucas Brown defeated Colin Wilson. We said it was Brown's power against Wilson's durability and his ring savvy. Well, it was answered three rounds in. Chris McCullen back joining me here in the host area and Lucas Brown has arrived. Yeah, certainly has. He really surprised me with his composure and uh, the speed on the big guy. I'm really looking forward to seeing whether it's Benny Edwards, whether it's, um, you know, Sonny Bill Williams, whoever it is out there, but I want to see more of Big Daddy Lucas Brown. Throw Solomon Amono into the mix as well, returning back into the industry. Great to see Michael, Kirby, Colin Wilson and Lucas Brown in the ring together at the end of the night. Yeah, show great respect and I think that's the, the aspect you don't see much of here in Australian boxing or in any boxing. You know, everyone gets on quite well and, and it's not, you know, the big hoo-ha that most people probably think it is and they showed that the big gentle giants in there tonight. Lucas Brown is now the king of the big boys. He is the Australian heavyweight champion. Hope you enjoyed the show. Catch you next Friday, ringside on Friday Night Fights. Lucas Brown. This.